Well, good evening, everyone. It being 7.04 p.m., I'm going to call our meeting to order. So I'd first like to apologize for being a few minutes late. We had a presentation prior to this meeting, and um, our mayor will not be in tonight. So at the last meeting, she was not feeling well, and as of to date, she has not yet fully recovered. So it is with regret that our mayor will not be in tonight's um, meeting. At this time, our agenda is going to be amended. We have two resolutions that we will be adding to the agenda on this evening. And when it comes to that time, I'm going to ask if the business manager would introduce those two resolutions. So at this time, would we all stand to say the Pledge of Allegiance? Our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Maureen, roll call. Mr. Brodnicki. Here. Deputy Mayor Sapp. Present. Mr. Underwood. Here. Mr. Petrucci. Mayor Kuhn. Thank you, Maureen. Uh-huh. And at this time, do I have a motion to accept the minutes from the April 15, 2019 council meeting? Deputy Mayor. Yes, Councilman Underwood. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of April 15, 2019. <laughs> that is the council meeting minutes. Do I have a second? Second. The motion and second that we receive the April 15, 2019 council meeting minutes. Do I have any questions from the audience? Faith Malazzo, 121 Castle Drive. I'm just wondering if going forward, the minutes, I think they're scanned pages and you can no longer search anything on them. Like previously, all the minutes prior to this year, if you wanted to search on a word like sewage or just any word you wanted to search, you can. But I guess now these are like actually pictures. I think they're JPEG. So is that how it's going to be going forward? Do you know? Scott? Um, I would tell you, um, are you... If, if what you're looking for is a Word document or like a searchable PDF, we could we could probably um, find out if that's possible. I, I, th I think when we're getting it, it's coming in Word. Um, so <coughs> it, it could be a searchable document. Oh. All right. Thank you. Any other questions from the audience? Any questions from council? Maureen, roll call, please. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. <laughs> Next on the agenda, agenda, do I have a motion to accept the expenditures? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes, Councilman Brodnicki? I'd like to make a motion. We accept expenditures for May 20th, 2019. Their CD requisitions, there's 12 for $100,007.32. And the master of 43398 to 43697 for $3,370,075.44 for a total of $3,470,082.76. Mr. Brodnicki? Second. Second. Any <coughs> questions from the audience? Any questions from council? I have some questions before we uh, move on to roll call and accepting the expenditures. On page four, Scott, if you could just follow me. Page four, line item two. <clears throat> give you a minute to get there. Yes. <coughs> Can you just give me a clarification of what that is exactly? It has something to do with, um, I believe, water pollution. I would have to, um, I'd have to get a little more information on it. Okay. Uh, 
the top of my head, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Okay. If you want to table it, we can. If you want to table that expense, you can. Okay. We're just going to table that expense until I get a little further information. And then on page seven, please. Line, line item um, on the third line, and that would be 85333. Three, three. Mm -hmm. so you can just look on that. It'll be easier. This one. It, it's a small amount on that line item, but it is just. It's related to his services. Okay. All right. It was just miscellaneous, and I wasn't quite sure. Why it was co oh, you're asking why it was coded there? Yes, um, why it was coded in that way. Is that just something that we we, we... we made that decision to code it under miscellaneous, but I would have to look at the invoice to see what the services were related to. Okay. I'm just going to request that in the future, if we could, um, instead of using the word miscellaneous, just give a brief description instead of using that of vocabulary. Thank you. And then I just have one more, and that would be on page 15. And we'll share. And it's also just a small amount, but I just wanted to, um, you to explain just a little bit, if you could. Uh, this is related to um, getting ball fields. Ball getting fields, what? Getting ball fields prepared. It's something related to our ball, ball fields okay. that are used by uh, various groups. Okay. It's just sometimes whenever um, they're writing up the expenditures, it's what they do all day. So just for us lay people, you know, um, when you don't have a, a whole description of what it actually is, you don't really know. So just for the clarification, we thank you so much for that. All right. Maureen, roll call, please. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. All right, next on the agenda, we have our ordinances. Do I have a motion to accept ordinance number 2643 of 2019? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. I move that we accept the ordinance number 2643 of 2019, an ordinance of the municipality of Penn Hills, County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, amending chapter 1042 of the codified ordinances of the municipality of Penn Hills, establishing a revised rate schedule for sewer usage services and the customer service charge. Okay, do I have a second? Second. <coughs> Any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? No. Maureen, roll call, please. Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Okay, next on the agenda, do I have a motion for ordinance number 2644 of 2019? Deputy Mayor Sapp. Councilman Brotnicki. I'd like to make a motion that we accept ordinance number 2644 of 2019, an ordinance amending ordinance number 2013 of 1991 of the municipality of Penn Hills, County of Allegheny, uh, Pennsylvania prohibiting the accumulation, bearing, and burning of garbage and or refuse materials upon private property in said municipality, except in accordance with the provisions of the ordinance requiring that all garbage, rubbish, and other refuse be conveyed to a transportation processing or disposal facility des designated by the municipal officials regulating the care and removal of garbage, rubbish, and other refuse materials and providing for the collection of garbage, rubbish, and other refuse materials only by licensed collectors in said municipality and providing penalties for the violation of this ordinance. Do I have a second? Second. <laughs> Any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? Uh, Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes, Councilman Brutnicki. Could Scott explain what we're doing with this? Yes, absolutely, Scott. Sure. Um, what this is, we're amending our rubbish ordinance, um, which was amend it was amended twice. So the last time it was amended was in um, 2013. And um, it's a pretty comprehensive ordinance that basically um, says what you as a resident have to do in order to 
legally dispose of waste. And the part of it that, that we're amending um, appears on the last page. Um, we're amending the penalties related to um, dumping. Um, illegally dumping. Um, the old ordinance, or I should say the, the one that exists now, um, it sets a fine, a minimum of 50 and a maximum of 500. So we're moving that to a minimum of 500 and a maximum of 2,000 plus cleanup costs. Um, now that's not related to littering, that's, that's related to dumping. And so like that's the piles of stuff you see on the side of the road. Yeah, this would be this would be the 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 more uh, <coughs> egregious. Yes. What we see in some um, parts of town where someone essentially pulls up a truck, unloads it. Um, this isn't throwing a piece of paper out the yeah. window. That's that would be littering. That's a little different than this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Scott. Maureen, roll call. Mr. Brodnicki. Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp. Yes. Mr. Underwood. Yes, but may I ask a question? Yes, yes. sir. Okay. Is it really um, 20, uh, 2013 of 1991 or is it 92? The, the ordinance is correct. Uh, the, the blurb in the agenda is incorrect. It's transposed. It's 91. 91. Thank you. Maureen, can we make sure that that is notated, please? Thank you, Councilman Underwood. Maureen, roll call. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Brodnicki. Yes. Oh, we already we did. Already, already we did roll call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, do I have a motion to accept ordinance number 2645 of 2019? Deputy Mayor. Councilman. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve ordinance number 26. 45 of 2019 amending ordinance number uh, one or 1235 of 1969 regarding and limiting parking on certain streets providing for stop signs at certain highways streets and highways intersections this uh, estimated speeds limits on certain streets of or highways and otherwise providing general of, of traffic regard regulations in the township as well as in, uh, enforcing of same and providing for penalties in the connection with uh, uh, violations thereof. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? No. Maureen. Mr. Brodnicki. Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp. Yes. Mr. Underwood. Yes. <laughs> Next on the agenda, do I have an ordinance, uh, a motion to receive ordinance number 2646 of 2019? Deputy Mayor Sapp. Councilman Brodnicki. I make a motion we accept ordinance number 2646 of 2019, an ordinance authorizing a three month lease and agreement by and between the municipality of Penn Hills, County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, as lesser and Manhunt Productions Incorporated as lessee for municipal property located at 12245 Frankstown Road. I have a second? Second. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? Maureen? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Do I have a motion to receive ordinance number 2647 of 2019? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Councilman Brodnicki? I'd like to make a motion that we approve ordinance number 2647 of 2019 an ordinance of the municipality of Penn Hills, County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, amending ordinance number 2172 of 1994, prohibiting smoking and the carrying of lighted objects in buildings owned, leased, or occupied by the municipality and, in certain circumstances, municipal vehicles. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions from the audience? 
Any questions from council? Uh, Maureen, roll call. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Mr. Brodnicki? Oh, I'm so sorry, Maureen, excuse me. Councilman Brodnicki, I didn't hear you speak. Yes. You have a question? Um, just a quick question. Could Scott explain this one too? Sure. Um, the, um, the, the ordinance that we have in place right now allows um, smoking in municipal vehicles in, 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 in limited circumstances. So what's happening is we're amending um, the ordinance to prohibit smoking in municipal vehicles. Thank you very much. Okay, now Maureen. Okay, Mr. Brodnicki. Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp. Yes. Next on the agenda, we're moving on to resolutions. <coughs> Do I have a motion to accept resolution number 2019-020? Deputy Mayor. Councilman Underwood. I'd like to make a motion to approve resolution number 2019-020 awarding a contract to Fiori, uh, if I pronunciate that wrong, I'm, I apologize, Landscaping Incorporated for the Penn Hills Seer Service Association, new loading dock with ADA ramp in the total amount of $61,700. Uh, Councilman, may I ask you to read that again? Uh, just the part for the Penn Hills Service Association, not senior. Penn Hill Service, I'm sorry, Service Association. I apologize. That's okay, thank you. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Any, any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? No. Okay. Maureen, roll call. Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Next on the agenda, do I have a motion to receive resolution number 2019-021? Deputy Mayor. Councilman Underwood. I'd like to make a motion to approve resolution number 2019-20. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize again. Resolution number 2019-021, adopting a nepotism policy. Do I have a second? Second. It's been motion and second. Are there any questions from the audience? Faith Malazzo, 121 Castle Drive. Just for my understanding, this just applies to municipal employees, correct? Like this isn't council or mayor. Is that correct? Employees. That's correct. It's just the employees. Okay. Thank you. You're so welcome. More, oh, any questions from council? Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Next on the agenda, do I have a motion for resolution number 2019-022? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Councilman <coughs> Brodnicki? I'd like to make a motion that we approve resolution number 2019-022 a resolution of the Municipality of Penn Hills, County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, awarding the Phase 11 2019 Sewer Repair Contract B mining contract in the total amount of $288,200. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Councilman Brotnicki. Could Rick basically quickly go over what the lining is? Yes, this is a contract to, to conduct um, approximately 30 segments of sewer, uh, line, installing a liner from manhole to manhole, which uh, eliminates all the defects within the subject pipe. Uh, and that uh, contract uh, is the, for the low bid for the contractor to conduct that work. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other questions from council? Maureen, roll call. Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Next on the agenda, 
Do I have a motion to receive resolution number 2019-024? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yep. Two, three. I'm sorry. One, two, three. I'm sorry, retract that. Resolution um, number 2019-023. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes, Councilman. I'd like to make a motion that we approve resolution number 2019-023 a resolution of, of the municipality of Penn Hills, County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, awarding the phase 11 sewer, uh, 2019 sewer repair contract A um, to excavation contract in the total amount of $582,990. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? Maureen. Deputy Mayor Sapp. Yes. Mr. Underwood. Yes. Mr. Brodnicki. Yes. Okay, now moving on to resolution number 2019-024. Do I have a motion to accept resolution number 2019-024? Deputy Mayor Sapp. Councilman Brodnicki. I'd like to make a motion that we accept resolution number 2019-024. Resolution of the Municipality of Penn Hills, County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, awarding the locker room trailer contract to Williams Scott Incorporated, um, known as Will Scott, in the total amount of $62,050.02. Do I have a second? Second. Do I have any questions from the audience? Any from council? <coughs> Deputy Mayor Sapp. Yes, Councilman Brotnicki. Could Scott uh, explain that one, please? Yes, he can. Um, this, is, um, this is related to um, the locker facilities down at Sandy Creek. Um, I don't know who, who may have uh, been there to see that, um, but they're, they're really in, in need of um, repair. I would say they're in disrepair, actually, to be honest with you. Um, in working with the staff and working with Gateway, this is this is the most cost-effective solution to um, improving that. Short of essentially renovating the building, um, there's issue, I mean there's heating issues in in the winter, um, and it's 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 really if if it's not let me rephrase it. Um, I think I think to to do nothing with it uh, is probably inviting um, probably some violation somewhere. Quite honestly, okay. from 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 an agency. Okay. Um, so you know when, when we looked at it, <clears throat> this is the best solution. It's, okay. it's 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 a it's a permanent solution in the sense that we own it, um, and it's and obviously it's not an addition to the building, but um, it's it's going to go a long way for I think safety, probably the most cost and, and morale also. too. I think. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Any other questions from council? No. Maureen, roll call, please. Mr. Underwood. Yes. Mr. Brodnicki. Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp. Yes. Well, at this time, the next resolution, the next two resolutions on the agenda, I am going to turn them over to our business manager, um, Scott Andre Chack, to introduce the next two resolutions. Scott, please. Thank you. Uh, we have two resolutions that um, were time sensitive, so it didn't make the agenda. Uh, first is a resolution that would authorize Penn Hills um, to explore refunding uh, two of its bonds. Um, the, um, the professionals that underwrite some debt belonging to Penn Hills uh, approach the municipality. Um, and there's some potential savings based on what the market looks like. So the first resolution is essentially um, giving them the go-ahead to start um, delving into that more and exploring that um, and appoints them as the underwriter. And then they, they would be coming back to the municipality. Uh, we have an idea what the savings could be to both the general fund and the sewer fund, but that's authorizing them to move ahead. So um, I would ask that you approve um, the resolution of inducement the inducement resolution of the municipality of Penn Hills, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, to declare the municipality's intent to undertake a refunding project to refund its currently outstanding general obligation bonds, refunding series B of 2011, and its federally taxable general obligation note series A of 2010. Do I have a motion to accept the resolution? Um, thus made. 
Councilman yes. Brotnicki, a second? Second. Thank you. Any uh, questions from the audience? Any further questions from council? Maureen, roll call, please. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Mr. Brodnicki? <clears throat> yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. The, uh, the other resolution that um, unfortunately didn't make the agenda is a resolution that designates me um, as the agent to sign certain paperwork related to uh, a FEMA Pima grant. Um, staff right now is um, diligently working on meeting a Friday deadline to apply for federal funding that would essentially be related to um, some homes in Penn Hills that were affected by landslides, uh, many of which are actually vacant. It would give us the ability to demolish those houses. Um, so this, this money essentially would come to, to Penn Hills. There is no local match. Um, I think we're asking for about a million dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So um, this resolution is authorizing um, me to um, sign certain documents related to the application. It's a, it's a resolution um, of mayor and council of the municipality of Penn Hills designating um, the municipal manager to execute um, documents on the municipality's behalf. Do I have a motion to accept this resolution? Make a motion to approve. Thank you, Councilman Underwood. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Councilman Brotnicki. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from Council? No. Maureen. Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Next on the agenda, do I have a motion to receive, uh, to accept the agreement on approval of the lease agreement between Penn Hills Municipality and Manhunt Productions Incorporated for a term of three months? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. I'd like to make a motion we accept this agreement to of approval of lease agreement between Penn Hills Municipality and Manhunt Production for a term of three months. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Yes, second. Are there any questions from the audience at all? Any questions from council? Yeah, Deputy Mayor Sapp. Councilman Brotnicki. Scott, could you explain this? Because this looks kind of interesting. Um, yes, sir. Um, earlier in the agenda, um, there was an ordinance authorizing a lease, the, the charter, um, requires that any lease of municipal property be um, authorized by ordinance. So the ordinance authorizes a lease. And then this is actually the lease agreement between the municipality um, and the production company. We were approached by a film company that's interested in the, uh, in the old municipal building. Um, they're filming um, a movie in the Pittsburgh area at several locations. Um, they, they probably won't be there every day um, during June, July, and August. I think they're talking about a few days a month, um, and they're not making any uh, permanent alterations to the building. They're fully insured. They give us all the boilerplate language you'd expect from um, a lease of this type, um, and they're and they're and they're going to pay the municipality thirty-five hundred dollars a month uh, to do it. So I think I think when when we looked at it, and when the solicitor and I looked at it, and staff, it seemed like a pretty good deal for three months. Sounds pretty exciting. Thank you. So it's a Discovery Channel show. Um, Good. That's what they tell me. So, Scott, will this in any way interfere with uh, anyone who is interested in looking at the building? No, it, it wouldn't. I mean, I talked to our realtor about it, too. Um, obviously, um, I, I don't know that it... We haven't had a whole lot of in, we haven't had a whole lot of visits to the building. I, I, I don't know if that comes as a <laughs> complete surprise to say that, but um, obviously, if we had um, interest in the building or we wanted to to, to um, show the building, we would have to to coordinate that. Um, even if um, we were fortunate enough to find a buyer for the building tomorrow, you know, it's likely that the closing uh, would be several months away. So. This wouldn't interfere with marketing the building. And um, other than storing some equipment in there on an ongoing basis, um, I don't think that it's going to impact uh, the marketing of the building. I've, I've spoken to the realtor about it. that. Was one that was a, that's a, a good concern um, that we um, that we that we vetted out. Okay. So my other concern then would be 
um, would would you be able to put that like a little clause in the agreement to say that if someone was interested in looking at the building that we would be able to on their off filming day yeah and and we have a pretty good relationship with these folks um, our staff many times has had to let them into the building we have a pretty good rapport with them um, so they're fully aware we're trying to sell the building I, I tried to sell the building to them. Oh, okay. Quite honestly. <laughs> well, good job. Uh, they weren't interested in buying it. They were only interested in leasing it. So they're aware that we're trying to market it, and, and they know that if, if we had a, a, a buyer that wanted to, to look at it, that, that that's going to take precedence. But um, what, they, what they told me is that they were really talking about a few days a month, maybe, maybe three days a month. Okay. Um, it wouldn't be that they wouldn't be in there every day. Okay. I think that that's just dealing with Hollywood. I think that that's just something that should be uh, written. Okay. We could add that. We could add that if it's not already in there. Okay, thank before, you so much. Before they uh, sign it and we sign it. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a problem at all. But when when you're dealing with Hollywood, you never know. No. So how exciting for Penn Hills that we'll be able to watch TV and and see our own municipality and uh, some parts of, the, of our building. And on some of what TV. they were interested in was interesting, o old items and rooms. Yeah, so we'll all be sitting there saying, oh, we know that building. Oh, that was filmed right in our own hometown. Okay, next on the, oh, I'm sorry, Maureen, roll call. Mr. Brodnicki. Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp. Yes. Mr. Underwood. Yes. All right, next on the agenda, do I have a motion to approve a, the agreement, uh, approving a billing and service agreement with Quick Mats claim for a term of three years? Deputy Mayor. Yes, Councilman. I'd like to make a motion to approve uh, agreement B, approving a billing and service agreement with Quick Med claims for a, uh, a term of three years. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. Next on the agenda, do I have a motion to receive the agreement approval, uh, I'm sorry, approve an agreement between Penn Hills Municipality and Service Land, Warranties of America for a term of three years? Deputy Mayor Sapp? Yes, Councilman Brodnicki. I move that we approve this agreement. Uh, between the municipality of Penn Hills and service line warranties of America for a term of three years. I'll second that. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from council? Deputy Mayor Sarah? Yes, Councilman Brotnicki. Could Scott explain this one too? He it can. our residents. Sure. Um, there's, a, there's a company called um, Service Line Warranties, and, and what they do is they approach uh, water authorities and sewer authorities. And essentially what they are doing is they are selling insurance to residents for their lateral. So in our case, um, they would, we, we're, we would be giving them permission to, to reach out to our residents. Um, we would be sort of putting our stamp of approval that this is a legitimate program. It's, it's, um, it's being done in um, other places in, in, in the state. And they would be able to sell you uh, insurance for your lateral line. So if your lateral, if your sewer lateral collapsed, th this insurance policy uh, would pay to repair it. Uh, and then the municipality gets some residual revenue from, from that. It's, it's, it's not a, a big amount, but for every uh, policy that they may sell, um, the municipality gets some revenue back. So it's actually, it's a, it's a, it's a program that doesn't exist in Penn Hills. Uh, we have a lot of sewer line issues, as we know. Um, a lot of the lateral lines are just as old, so uh, it's it's a it's it's a it's a good program, and it's and it's it's being um, it's being it's it's being deployed in other other places as well, sewer and water authorities. Thank you. So, so, so people know we have to buy this. No, you know you don't have, have to. But it helps yeah, protect correct. them if yeah. they do. And I don't know that I don't know that you could go just off the shelf and, and buy this now. Okay. Um, it's, it's more or less, they're partnering, they try to partner with the municipality, so it gives the residents some assurance that it's a, that it's a bona fide um, company, that they're going to do what they say they're going to do if your lateral collapses or has a problem. 
um, and all those all those kinds of things. Okay. And all we're really doing is um, sort of allowing them to operate in okay. Penn Hills, if okay. you will. Thank you. But it, but it's not it's it's not mandatory that you buy. No, I don't want anybody to get no, that not. impression. <clears throat> Scott, how how will they advertise that? Um, they would they would um, through direct mail mainly. Um, they would show the municipality under the agreement. The municipality has um, the right to see what the resident is going to get before it goes out. So we have some input on in what it says. They've shared with us um, what they have used in other municipalities. Uh, and it's essentially direct mailing. Um, it, 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 it wouldn't be from the municipality. Um, it may use our logo if we allow it. Um, and it would basically say that, you know, they've partnered with the municipality of Penn Hills to offer this insurance program. Um, we're sort of giving it a, a stamp of approval, but we, we have the right to see um, what they would send to residents before it goes out. Yes. Do you have a projected date to when you will receive this? information once um, once we sign the agreement and it gets back to them it would it would be a matter of how long it takes them to turn it around um, I don't think it would take them that long because I suspect that probably what they do from community to community probably doesn't vary a whole lot but um, before anything would uh, would go out we would get to see it and I would show it to mayor and council um, so that we're comfortable with it okay. but what they've done in other communities um, was essentially direct mailing do you know of any other municipalities they have uh, solicited? Yeah, uh, actually a whole bunch. Um, there's some there's some big authorities out east that are in it. Um, I think the Water Authority of Altoona is in it. I talked to a city manager in northwestern Pennsylvania who I know very well. Um, he said that there was one gentleman in his community that I think he paid the premium for one month and then he had a catastrophic failure. They, they covered that. Um, Ingram is uh, one community locally. Um, there, there, there is a list of municipalities. Uh, I would say across the Commonwealth, I, I would say maybe about 25 communities. Uh, not all of them are in Allegheny County, but some are. So, so I would assume that you are going to call and do references and background checks and call the Better Business Bureau and things of that nature and also get references from the other municipalities that they've already solicited? Okay, thank you. Okay, Maureen? Mr. Brodnicki? Yes. Deputy Mayor Sapp? <laughs> yes. Mr. Underwood? Yes. <clears throat> okay, next on the agenda, items for consideration. Do I have any items for consideration this evening? No items for consideration. Next on the agenda, introduction of ordinances, resolutions, etc. I do you do you see that on there? I don't know if you need me to say anything or Okay. <coughs> I have the um, community development block grant program for year forty five. Yes, up. I'm waiting for you to speak. Okay. <laughs> um Deputy Mayor, um I, I put this before you. Um, you're aware that we're, we uh, are in a CDBG entitlement community. We get community development block grant funds from HUD each year, and we have to submit an application by August 16th. Due to the delay in the allocation from HUD from Washington, it really confused our dates and schedules. So we have a first public hearing. We had it on in March, uh, March 28th, before the Planning Commission, and the second public hearing will take place this Friday. I'm sorry, this Thursday on uh, May 23rd and um, and what happened is this is a result of 30-day comment periods things like that we were unable to place it on your agenda for tonight so I just I'm using this as an opportunity to to give it to you you're gonna you're, it's gonna be before you for adoption on June 17th but I just felt that this was an opportunity for you to get it in your packet see it be able to see it then the residents also tonight have their have the information that I gave you so that they can see it also I don't know if, if you have any other questions about it are there any the, questions from the uh, audience? Any questions about that? Some, some of the highlights might be that we did receive additional <laughs> funding, a small amount of additional funding. It brought our budget up to $749,000, about $11,000 increase. Um, and we are using those funds and the funds from the YMCA mm -hmm. to fund the Lincoln Park Community Center, increase their food pantry funding and also we're doing some work as you saw as you passed the resolution tonight for improvements at the uh, Penn Hill Service Association. 
Otherwise, the agenda, I mean, I'm sorry, otherwise the budget pretty much is similar to previous years. $200,000 in street paving, um, variety of food, the f food pantries and a variety of projects throughout the municipality. And that'll, that will be um, adopted at the hearing on 523? Um, no, I'm sorry. The, the, uh, the public hearing will be 523. You'll adopt it at your June 17th council meeting. I'm sorry. It just would not have given you enough time to really review it, so I wanted to give you additional time. Okay, so that'll go on for our June's meeting. June 17th, yes. And then it's due to HUD on the, due to the, the county um, on June 19th, so we're really, um, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get it signed and, and out the door. Okay. <laughs> well, you're very good at expediting those things, so. Yeah, we are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, any further questions from council? Next on the agenda, reports. Do I have any reports this evening? No. Council? No. Councilman Underwood? No. Nothing to report. Uh, I'd like to just remind everybody about our Memorial Day parade coming up. So we look forward to that happening. We know that we have a, um, a new route this year. So that'll be exciting <laughs> and interesting to, to see and walk for those who are walking. Um, I guess you'll be very happy that you don't have to walk as far, but I do look forward to seeing everyone at the Memorial Day Parade. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then next year, uh, because of the new route, next year we are going to, we're gonna look at it this year and we look to just expand it next year as far as our festivities and activities. So this year will be this year and us just, um, <laughs> you know, learning our new route and what we're going to be doing. But next year, look forward to more festivities and some more exciting things to be happening during our Memorial Day Parade. Next on the agenda, if we have no other reports, citizens to address council. <clears throat> Please state your name and address. Joanne Alexander, 225 Elm Road. <laughs> We're here tonight to present another concept for you. Can you uh, speak up, please, Ms. Alexander? I can't hear you that well. We are here tonight to present another concept to you for phase two and phase three of the projects, which includes the firemen's, the veterans, and a canine plaque for the uh, dog that was killed in 87. Um, I'm gonna pass out a, a packet to you. Please bear with us. They are not professional drawings. They're <laughs> those revised drawings that Gateway gave us, but they're also a lot of cut and paste, just to give you an idea of what our thoughts are. And they're not totally final yet, but we, we'd like to be able to move forward because we need to raise additional money for some of these projects, and, and we can't get people to quote things to us until we do have approval because they've done it so many times. Okay. <clears throat> So in your packet, the first first drawing you're going to see is the drawing that Gateway Engineers did it, and we give just us one second to get our packet so okay. we can follow along with you. Thank you. <coughs> okay. So anyway, it's the revised drawing. Uh, it shows the fireman's memorial going on the existing foundation in the center of the site. The veterans are going to the far right. There is a small plaque to the right of the police monument for a canine dog. The second page is the plaque <coughs> proposed for the canine. Uh, it's just a small stone, 28 inches by 12 inches by 6 inches. It allows right now for Joker's photo to go on there, but it also allows for expansion should we ever lose another dog in the line of duty. The third drawing is shows the two side plaques and a center plaque at the top which is basically the layout of both the firemen and the veterans the one plaque the front elevation plaque here that shows a square plaque are the sizes of the side plaques for the firemen the third comes to my artwork <laughs> or the last, next one is my artwork showing the firemen and the veterans plaque side by side they are not to scale by any means, it's just I had to use the pictures that I found on the internet. The next one will be presented more by the fire department as part of their, uh, the center part of their monument, uh, with the next one being the fireman's prayer on the rear of it. 
uh, the final one is going to be part of this uh, is, is showing what the Veterans Monument will look like. It will be two equal sized plaques on either side of the tall, thin piece. Uh, the sides will be rounded because we, this is going to be a four sided monument because the bricks will go around it, enable us to put plaques on, also put an etching on the front and a, a saying or a prayer or something for the veterans. Um, so, so that's basically what I'm presenting. Bernadette Rose is going to come up and talk to you about what the firemen plan to do. And then John Diagardia from Rome Monument will come up and talk about the veterans. And then we'll take any questions from you after that. Rose, Bernadette. Bernadette Rose, 518 South Avenue. Um, we also gave you guys a little packet of the drawings on the fireman's monument that would be on the existing foundation that's already out there that was originally for the police. Um, and it kind of gives you the dimensions that we designed with John um, and the memorial committee. So the front of it would have, the center would be fire engine red as we were described to it. And in the top portion would be engraved a firefighter. Below that would be a Maltese cross. Um, and then a dedication to the Penn Hills Fire Departments, which is typed up for you, the wording that we were hoping to use if approved. And then on the back of this one would be the angel with the fireman over his shoulder, um, or the fireman with the angel over his shoulder, and the fireman's prayer on the back of the center of the red one. And then on each side of this would be a gray stone that would have Mr. Heidish's plaque, who was killed in the line of duty, and on the other side would have the four additional fallen firemen with their company, their name, and their date of death. And then the backs would be open, again, if we'd ever have to use them in the future, if somebody would lose their life in the line of duty. Thank you. John, will you come up? My name is uh, John Diagardi. I'm from Beaver, Pennsylvania, uh, 1501 Corporation Street. Uh, a little bit before I get into the Veterans Memorial, keep in mind you have an outstanding memorial currently there to the, for the policemen, probably valued over $50,000. So what we're trying to do, unfortunately, is somewhat compete and try to make sure that the firefighters and the veterans are gonna have something very different, unique, but yet can look good on that particular spot. The design of the canine dog has been moderated because it's a dog. Even though he's an officer, it was felt by the committee he should be just relegated to a, a little softer presentation. There is room, as Joanne stated, that it, God forbid if another dog is killed, that memorial can take another plaque, a bronze plaque of his image, and perpetuate that memorial that you have something moving forward. The firefighter's memorial has longevity built into it that it will be there and can be used for till we all pass away and grandchildren and so forth. It, it will go hundreds of years because there's definitely a lot of room there. Unfortunately, our policeman's memorial has been pretty much at this time designed that it would need to add, need more room to add other names. So with that in mind, the veterans memorial is going to be the same height as the firefighters memorial, roughly 10 feet. But it's gonna take a different shape than theirs in that their memorial will go straight across, parallel the middle piece with the two side pieces be in parallel. As Joanne was very accurate in telling you, the sides will be rounded. The particular piece that you see that she gave you with the fluteds, that will invite people that they need to walk around in order to see the back because different than the firefighters, 
that memorial is a multi-sided memorial. Plenty of room that to bear the plaques that we currently have in our possession, that they can be mounted there and look, look outstanding. Both the firefighters is going to utilize sculpture work, while the Veterans Memorial will, in, will allow it to have etchings that are yet to be determined because we need to interact better with the veterans group. So it's a little vague there, but it's all different techniques that everyone is gonna be unique. No one is gonna look as if they're <coughs> second rate to the outstanding memorial you currently have. The color of the veterans memorial will be a dark, shiny black. The canine memorial will match the police officer's memorial, which is the black from Pennsylvania, which has some veining running through it. Other than that, I guess Joanne's ready for any questions uh, that you might have. I'll put these out of your way. Okay. Um, thank you. And, and Mr. John, what was your last name again? Dia Gardi. And can you just tell me one more time where you're from? I'm sure they picked it up, but I'm. Okay. And and your and your role? He's Rome. He's Rome Monument. That's designing everything for the fire and the veterans. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, I'd like to just say that um one, uh, thank you so much for your presentation. But I'd like to just say to you that um, we are certainly here in Penn Hills not competing fire versus police or any other emergency service person who has lost their lives in the line of duty. So it's not a competition to one memorial looks better than another. We want the memorial to be beautiful, serene, and certainly a place of comfort for all who come to pay tribute to those falling officers who's lost their lives in the line of duty. So one, let's clarify that we're not competing. It's no, going we, to be and beautiful. And we don't want any competition. That's we, right. We, it is not a competition. Yes. Those people lost their lives in the line of duty protecting us. So it's one memorial honoring the different services. Okay. And so I, I thank you for all the presentations. I, I, it's so overwhelming for me uh, to look at everything. I have all of your drawings. I have what was presented from the um, fire department. I would like to just say, Joanne, first, thank you so much for taking this on and being the spokesperson because it is something that definitely I feel is uh, needed out there. Right now, um, it, it looks incomplete. So yes. mayor and council, we are really um, looking to move forward with your vision and with all of your visions because it, it's incomplete right now. And I'm looking forward to it being completed so that it can be beautiful and people can have a place to come. I'm sorry that it's not done for Memorial Day. It's this, gonna take us uh, probably it's gonna four, take some time. four to six months yeah, for th this project yeah, to be this, completed. This is, this is beautiful and, and you're really putting a lot into it. So what I'm gonna just ask is one, you would just give us some time to look over all of these drawings. I'm not asking for a lot of time, but one, we don't have full compliment this evening anyway. Um, I wouldn't want to cheat you or, or make it a disservice that we would just make a decision without a full council. I'm really in support of what you all are doing and definitely the whole uh, memorial, and I want it to be beautiful. I want it to be a beautiful tribute to our fallen officers and emergency uh, persons who have lost their lives and their families as well as the, as the residents who knew those people. So if you would just give us some time to look at these over because um, yes, some of them were handwritten, some of them were <laughs> I'm just sorry, like, like I said, human, I am not you an know, artist. art sketches part and so. Of, part of the one drawing was done by a local artist. Of course, I cut some things out and pasted over yeah. top of his drawing, but uh, we wanted to give you an idea of what we were looking at. Um, like I said, we're trying to make it a beautiful site, something that people can come and remember. Uh, anybody that has they've lost in their families or the community uh, so and the sooner we get approval from you the sooner we can get the project moving okay and and let me just clarify something and the mayor in her absence just for me in um, conducting the meeting this evening are you the spokesperson for the entire memorial 
we're working together. Okay. So you have a committee. Yes, Are you we the have spokesperson a for the committee? Most of the time. I'm the one that have the biggest mouth, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, that works. <laughs> okay. So um, I would like to get with you um, and maybe set a time that we can sit down and look at the drawings together because what I may interpret and what you're trying to convey to me may be two different interpretations and then mayor and council can take in a look at it maybe we take a actual walk out to the site and, and take the drawings with us and get a clear visual of what you are asking and what the committee is asking. So that way it won't be like overcrowded. It won't be overbearing. We want it to be beautiful. We want it to be elegant because that's what those, um, the, the people who lost their lives, that's what they were. And we want it definitely to be embellishing um, to the community as well as a comforting place to come and pay tribute to those officers, okay? Uh, yes. So, I mean, because it was a lot going on, you know, you, you, you got plaques that are going to be printed on both places, you got room for more, you got a, a wall coming up here and a wall coming up there, it just like looks <laughs> There's like, a lot. oh no. There is a lot. It's a lot. So if you would not mind you and the rest of um, the, the committee to give us that time to look these over, get with you, have a meeting, take a walk out there, and let's get this together together. I appreciate Would you that. be okay with that? I appreciate that. Okay, thank much, you sir. so much for taking thank this Thank you. On. And I will say this next week is not going to be a good week for me. My husband's having surgery next week, so after next week, we'll, I, we could get together. Okay, yes. And if um, you need to do it sooner, somebody from the committee would be happy because they're all equal. We all have the same opinion and Okay, thoughts. I won't ask you to make your um, telephone number public, but after the meeting... Maureen it, has it. Maureen has it. Okay. Yeah, Okay, you have it too. Well, if you could just come up after the meeting and just give me your telephone number, I greatly appreciate that. And then I uh, will give you a phone call. We can look at the calendar and uh, we can go out and take a walk together. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, next on the agenda, we have a Bill Motes to speak this evening. Is Bill in the audience? Okay, Bill's not here, so moving right along. That's it. So do I have a motion to adjourn this meeting for this evening? Deputy Mayor. Yes, Councilman. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Good job, Penn Hills. Thank you for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your week. God bless you.